All right, so we're about to check out Slam Ball Scrappers on a PS3, released today. Great, so uh, this is Aton again. I'm gonna kind of walk you through some of the stuff in the game and show you what's uh, in here. So as you can see, you have two main modes in the game. You have campaign and you have battle. The campaign mode is one to four player co-op, and the battle mode is one to four player competitive. So everything in this game is one to four player. So um, I'll start it off maybe with a battle mode, and I'll just show you kind of a quick battle mode. So you can see it here. Um, you have all these different levels that you can choose from, which one you want to play. And maybe for the purposes of this one, I will go and I'll play... What's a good level? Maybe Neon City? I'll play in Neon City. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll play in Neon City, why not? And um, you can also choose your weapons. So here, let's say I will pick green drills also. And you can see you can turn any weapon on or off that you want. Okay, so I'll get started. And then from there you can see everything in here is four player. Um, I'll pop in. Um, I will play as Jewel because I like Jewel a lot. And then for hats, you can see there are a lot of hats. Um, I'm gonna go with I like the beaver mask, I think that's a good one. Yeah, and so um, actually there are a lot of hats in this game, and so each of these hats, you know there are trophies in all PSN games, so every single trophy in the game corresponds to a hat that you can unlock, so every time you get a trophy you also get a hat in game, so it's kind of like this nice little prize for getting a trophy, you also get a hat. Um, and I'll throw in an opponent, Oops. I'll play against him. Okay, that looks pretty badass. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll make them hard because I'm pretty good at this game. Now, how many difficulties are there? Uh, there are five. So you can play hard, expert, very easy, easy, medium. Okay. I'll do that. And I'll play against him when he's green. Okay. Um, and you know what? I'll just make it interesting. I'll, I'll make it, well, I'll make it a two player game for now. So let's just hop right into it. Um, and so Neon City is a level that has a turbocharger that goes and makes everything in your tower fire twice as quickly when it, when it turbocharges it. But um, I'll kind of explain the gameplay from the basic level just so people at home can see. So I'll be flying around and I'll be fighting against my opponent. And while we're fighting, I'll be getting blocks which I can then drop only onto my space. And my goal will be to build very big squares of the same color. The bigger square I build, the stronger the weapon's going to be. And my goal is also to build up a large tower with big squares that will then generate weapons which will knock over my opponent's tower. Whichever tower gets knocked over first, the other player wins. So you can see I can fly around. I can punch this guy, because he's kind of a jerk. I can also shield, and so can he. And when I kill him, like that, I get to steal his block. You can see that his health is recharging though, so I don't have much time. I need to go build, so I'm going to do that now. And you and, can do combos as well, right? Oh, like yeah. Hit combos? For sure. And so I'm building up while he's dead, so that way I have something to fight with. So, anyway, something neat about this level is that it actually changes the location of the blocks. So, uh, let me show you some combos. I can go in here and do a flip trick. Like that, and hit him in the face. Oh, he killed me, so I'll have to revive quickly. And now you're hitting different uh, buttons to, you know, revive your health in battle, right? Exactly. Right? And so those green drills are bad moves. They basically do continuous damage to my tower. Oh, he's trying to use the common power. Again. So the green drills do continuous damage to my tower until I knock them out. Now, uh, it's pretty detailed in the back, too. You can look at the city, and depending which one lights up your color, I guess that's the side you're on, then, right? Exactly. So it's kind of like just a reinforcement thing for which side. But, I mean, there's also a bar at the bottom of your level, I guess, or the bar, so... Right. It's kind of hard to get lost, I guess, if you're paying attention. Well, I don't know. It's actually pretty hard to be easy to get lost. This game's, like, very fast-paced, so there's a it lot is, of... It is, right. Well, especially with everything flying around, you're right. Right, so... But I mean, you know, having the colors at the bottom and then back city kind of really, it's a good pointer to show you where you are. Right. 
So this is kind of one of the crazier levels that I'm showing you, but it's also one of the more fun ones. So it's one of the ones that I really like showing people that are here. Now how many guys have you, uh, how many guys have been working on this game? Um, we had an eight person development team, we actually started off with far fewer. Okay. Um, so, this is, and it's a two year game, so we were working on it for a long time. So now I have the green monster power, so I can go over here and directly punch his tower. So, right. I Which is the only time you can do that, right? Right. And it's kind of a nice way. I was using it very well, so I kind of can go and destroy his tower, which is fun. But in the meantime, he also destroyed mine. So, um, I'm going to focus on building some really big squares. So when I was playing earlier with Nico, it seems like this game has a lot of depth to it. It's not just about hitting blocks and just uh, oh yeah, reposting them or, or building uh, turrets, but it actually has a lot of depth to it. Yeah, there's tons of stuff going on. And there's tons of strategies to win also. I can go over and I can grief them by fighting a lot, except he just killed me. Or I can spend a lot of my time and effort trying to uh, build really big squares and just doing that. Right. I can also try to collect blocks, or I can just wait for him to collect blocks and then try to steal this. Yeah, so let's, what's, let's build up a really good score. And what's awesome with the game is you can do what, two versus two, or one versus uh, four, oh, yeah. or three, right? Everything in this game is multiplayer. Right. So, um, so how do you uh, actually feel about um, online multiplayer? Uh, haha, you're throwing me a softball. I actually think it's terrible. Um, a game like this is really fun when everyone's in the same room and doing the same stuff. It's really fun if I can like yell and scream and you know, make jokes. Oh, I do fun. Right. It's really fun if I can yell and scream and make jokes. And you need to be in the same room for that, and the game really loses something offline. So we focused on the online multiplayer for this game because we thought that was what was more fun. I just mean the offline. Offline. But we're all in the same room. So, um... So you can see that was one of the levels. I'll go and I'll show you a campaign level now because that'll be another uh, interesting level to show you kind of how the co-op campaign differs. And for this game, excuse me, for this level, I'm actually gonna have Luke uh, join in and play with me. Um, in fact, maybe I'll have Nico join in too. You wanna grab a controller? Uh, no, it's gotta be the silver one. So you can see that hand over there is Nico. He's gonna be joining us. Um, and so we're all gonna hop in and we're all gonna be playing together. Alright, so I'm gonna take the fire hose hat, I guess. Oh yeah, that's that's the I think that's one of the two hardest hats in the game to unlock. Um, that hat is special, you have to beat every single level in our game on expert to get that hat. So that hat oh, is wow. yeah, that is the some serious cred if you have that hat. So what's up with your uh, nickname here? Fire Chief. That's not my nickname, that's my official title, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What's the point of doing a startup if you can't have an awesome title? <laughs> so Get these hats picked. All right. all right, let's get started. So, here's our world map. You can see that we have all sorts of fun levels here. It's really beautiful. And I'm gonna just pick this level right here. This is Mountaintop 1. And because I'm, I'm pro, we're gonna play it on hard. Um, and this is- it easy on me though, right? <laughs> well, this is co-op, so we're all playing together. Oh, are we? Okay. And um, in Mountaintop 1, this is the first boss fight in the game. So we're all going to be fighting together okay. against this giant robot boss. And we're actually kind of jerks. We made a robot boss that's invincible that you can't kill. And so it's our job to figure out a way to bring down his shield so that way our tower then, can then go and pummel him. Every single boss in our game is invincible. They have a shield that prevents them from taking damage. And it's the player's job to figure out a way to get them vulnerable so that way their tower can then go and fight them. So here's our boss. And as you can see, he's all sorts of bad news. So let's go and let's go and start fighting. What I really like about this game, I mean one of the aspects that I like about it is that you can hit the baddies, the little flying monsters, and you can actually get different blocks. You don't just get one block if you place it down, you can get several blocks. Yep. And I just yeah. screwed up. No, you're doing great. And if you screw up in that sense, it's easy to fix. I can go and I can uh, pick up something that was already placed with these transparent cookie cutter blocks and rearrange them into something better.
So this ninja that I'm popping here on the top left, um, he actually gives power up when I kill him. So I'm gonna kill him and then I get the bomb. And, uh, oh, there's no enemies down, but the bomb sends out a shockwave and kills everyone. So the bombs are super powerful right now. Oh, I also see that it snows once in a while, then you have to get that snow out of the way to Oh, it's not snowing, that's the boss throwing snow onto our tower. Oh, okay. So we have to, watch, he goes in back and he's like a oh, devil. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's chucking that up. So yeah, no, that's not natural. That's, that's my man, the boss, trying to ruin our day. <laughs> Yeah, so the drills you gotta watch out for. Those things are bad news. This game is really fun and addictive. Oh, it's so much fun. We're really happy with how it turned out. Yeah, so I guess you guys don't feel too bad about scrapping it a while back and just restarting. No, because it was the right thing to do. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, you never feel bad about doing the right thing, right? Like, no, you're right. We needed to make the game better, and the version that we have now is so much better than anything we had before. Alright, mega shield time. Alright, so that shield in the middle. See how I built up that huge shield? Yeah. That's gonna really protect us. That's good. So now, why did you guys go out uh, with PSM instead of like Xbox or Wii? Was it Sony came by and threw a bunch of money at you guys? And... I mean, so Sony definitely did support us, right? Okay. Like, they were actually really great about that. But the reason that we went with these guys is because, like, PlayStation Network makes the most sense for this kind of game. Xbox, like, Xbox Live Arcade is a great marketplace, don't get me wrong, but like, in Xbox Live Marketplace, like, everyone wants, like, what category is your game, exactly, like, where do you fit in, okay. and like, I mean, I don't even know how to categorize this game, like, what is this, it's, a, it's an action, party, puzzler, brawler, puzzle, I don't know what, <laughs> right? Yeah. So... And so these guys do have actually a bunch of Xbox games, so it's not like they're fanboys or something. Right. And um, so we thought that the PlayStation game made a lot of sense. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, we also think we're going to stick out like a sore thumb on PS3, and that's what we hope for, right? We right. want it to be that weird game on PSN that everyone's talking about and playing. That's our goal. Yeah. So look, you can see that his health's almost down, so we just got to take down his shield one last time, and then our tower's going to finish him off. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Nice. So we got it. Very nice. Cool. So that's kind of the game, and you can see that like there's lots of different levels. So that's the boss fight. Um, we'll leave it at that because this video is already long enough. But we hope you enjoyed watching Slam Bolt Scrappers. We hope you'll go and check it out. Again, it's on PlayStation Network. It's an exclusive. It's fifteen dollars. And if you like what you see, there's a demo of this game. It's free. Go grab it, see if you like it, and uh, please buy it, because we're poor indies and we really need your money. Yeah, it's really one thing when you're, um... Actually, I just forgot what I was going to say. It's one thing when you're that big, giant rock star company, or when you're Activision, but when you're a small Indian Boston with, you know, a couple people hanging around an office, that's when, that's when we need your support. So you know, we hope actually, you like the game. I remember what I was going to say. Um, it's one thing when you're actually watching this game, but when you're actually playing it, it's a lot of fun. So give it a try. It's, you know, free, because there's a demo, and then if you like it, pick it up. It's only 15 bucks. Alright, this is Luke with PS3 Blog, signing out.